All right, knob quick tip. Do not use spiral upcuts on plywood. They ruin the plywood. This is a test cut um, I created after this destroyed a piece of plywood. Um, that's a crappy bit, so don't use that bit. That being said, don't use an upcut spiral on plywood. This actually does all right on MDF. It actually cut all of the holes here, so um, MDF, fine. But plywood, bad. Um, looking online, you're supposed to actually use a, a down a compression and all these other things, but uh, um, I got this bad boy. All of $18.97 from Home Depot in a kind of, I wanted to work on this project this weekend and I didn't want to go spend a bunch of money on a new bit and wait for it to show up and hope that I didn't screw something else up. And look at that. That, that don't suck. Uh, that was 22,000 RPM. It's too small for the accelerations to matter, but um, theoretically it was 270 uh, inches per second. But 22,000 RPM, super clean, 22,000 RPM, total freaking nightmare useless. Wouldn't feed it to my dog. So, bad, good. Upcut bad for plywood, straight cut good for plywood. And yes, in a perfect world, I'd do a, a downward spar, down cut so that it would be compression and, and that's supposed to be really good too. But, but you know, this was $18 and I could get it at Home Depot. So, yeah, Home Depot. There's a link in the bottom. And uh, if you if you have like the perfect bit for plywood that is not a that's not a, a you know a hobby bit like this it's like the bit you should own then uh, put it in the comments. All right, thanks.